Okay, so times are changing. Everyone is posting very regularly right now. So it is my responsibility to break down each and every one of them and then present to you guys so that you guys can learn from this particular tutorials and then definitely make your films better. So what's up guys, Pixel Sammy here. Welcome to a newest video. And in this particular video, I'm going to show this particular effect from JRL's latest video, Peru. So this particular effect is this shattered in wall effect, which you have seen in his video. The footage is right here. You can just see it from here. But, but you cannot do this technique in Premiere Pro or in Final Cut Pro. You have to do it only in After Effects. And doing it in After Effects is one of the simplest things ever. Trust me, if you want to try this technique in any other software, you will have a lot of difficulties. But in After Effects, it is like the simplest one ever. Just don't get scared of the UI of After Effects. It is a very simple application. I'm going to show step by step how to do this particular technique. And then you guys can show it accurately and properly. And it is pretty, pretty simple to use. Just one simple effect you need to drag on the clip and then make some proper adjustments and it is pretty much done. It is a very simple technique to make, but you need to use only After Effects, no Final Cut Pro or in Premiere Pro. I'm very sorry, but there is no possible way to do this effect on either of the cases. You need to buy many plugins, many costly plugins. In Final Cut Pro, I don't think there even exists any plugins for particles. There exists one particle plugin for Final Cut Pro, but it is completely useless for this particular technique. So doing this particular technique in Final Cut Pro or in Premiere Pro is impossible. Not impossible, this is possible, but you need to spend hours and hours and hours and that is something which is very useless. You can do this effort in After Effects only. It will take you roughly like 5 minutes or at the most 10 minutes but not more than that. And that is pretty much it. So I am so sorry I cannot make a Premiere Pro or a Final Cut Pro tutorial for this one. But making the After Effects tutorial seems much more logical to me. So with that being said, let's jump right into a tutorial portion. And trust me, it is very simple to use. It is very simple to use, just follow the steps I am showing. And by the way, did you guys see my new lights? Just comment down below what you guys think about it. These guys are actually smart bulbs and these guys can change colors. So I can really change the color of my background. You want to see? Just see it just once. So I am controlling it with my phone right now and I can change the brightness. <laughs> actually, I like playing with this kind of stuff. So that is pretty much it. Just so let's jump right into a tutorial. Okay, so here we are in After Effects. So these are the two footages. These are the two clips which I'm going to take. I have taken it as JPEG files, but you should use MP4 files. Just for example purpose, as I couldn't find any relevant footage, I just used some JPEG files for this particular purpose. But you guys can use any kind of footages, any kind of MP4 footages or a media file footage. You can use any kind of them and then use it here. For my purpose, I'm using the picture, but you can use a video as well. So that is what I mean. You can use the video as well. Just for my purpose, I'm using a normal picture, which is still. Okay, so in general's case, you will see that this particular thing is zooming in, which means that either someone clicked the video going in front or he just shot it handheld through a gimbal or tripod and then keyframed to the zoom. That is pretty much it. So that is the zoom in portion. And then what he basically did was he just masked out the outer portion of the wall or the structure or whatever that is. He just masked it out and then placed another brick wall behind that layer. So that is what exactly I have made. I masked that particular layer. I have just masked the outer layer, which I did not cover in this video because it will be a very long video otherwise. I just masked out the outer layer of the front wall. And then in the second layer, in the below layer, I have placed another brick wall in this particular tutorial. So I am showing this video at a 1 by 4th quality but if I increase the quality to full then it will be a lot slower. So in my case I just change it to quarter because it will change the preview to a lot more faster. So these are the two layers which I am going to take. This is the first layer which if I disable it will automatically show the below layer which is the main rock layer. And then if I disable the rock layer then it will show this particular portion of the masking of the first layer in which I just simply masked out some of the portion of the rock of the first layer. And masking is pretty simple just go to the effects panel and then go to mask and then add a new mask to this particular layer. So now we are going to show the main shattering effect of this particular tutorial. So ideally you should use something like a trap for particular which is a paid plugin. But I am going to use it without any kind of plugins. So just select this particular layer, select the second layer and then go to the effects panel and type in shutter. And drag the shutter effect onto the second layer. And then you are going to see this particular thing. 
so that is pretty weird so just go to the fs control panel as you can see this particular thing which is shattered in in the form of brits this is not something which you want so go to the fs control panel go to the shutter and view and change it to rendered and then you are going to see this and then you will see that it is changing in the shape of brits you don't want that so go to the shape option i am going to just position it right around here and then go to the shape option change the pattern to glass so you are going to see this so that is the first portion the first step is done now as you can see a option called repetition so repetition is basically how many particles of glass this effect will produce so increasing this particular effect just like this will increase the quantity of the glass pieces so the more the better the more the better but the more the more rendering time it will take so i'm going to just reduce it just a little bit because it will take a lot of time to render this particular thing as you can see it is not rendering in real time so i'm going to just reduce the repetition to around 30 or 27 or something like that so i'm going to just reduce it right around here around 32 is good enough for my tutorial so that is the first step now there is an option called origin which is the origin of the breaking of the splits so you can just change it to upper hand side just like generally and you can change the direction also if you feel like you can play with all the settings all of them will produce different results and there are options like here, like the rotation speed, like the randomness of the particles or the glass particles. And there are other options also, so you can play with all of them. But I mostly play with the shape and the gradient and the physics portion. And then as you can see, there is an option called extrusion depth, which actually will create a 3D effect on this particle effects. So as you can see, a 3D particle of the rods. So if you just cancel the extrusion depth to zero, you will see 2D particles. But as soon as you change it to around 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 or 1, you're going to see a 3D object. You don't want to just overdo it, just keep it at around 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 and this will be pretty much done. So that is pretty much it for this video. Now what you can do is you can add another layer, another footage, it may be a drone footage, it may be any other footage and then just drag it below all these layers, just like this. Just drag it below and then just let it render and you will see this. Now what you can do is you can simply add a zoom in keyframe into this particular effect. I'm not going to show this particular effect in this particular tutorial. Just for this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this particular glass shatter effect, which I just showed right now. Glass shatter effect is pretty simple to use and it's pretty simple to make as you guys have already seen. So you can just enter this particular clip with a zoom in effect and then exit this particular clip with a zoom out effect. So that is pretty much it. So you can add a zoom in transition also or you can zoom in the keyframe in portion. So keyframe in the scale is pretty easy to use. I'm not going to show it because it will be a long tutorial for this particular effect. I try to keep it as short and as simple as possible. So in generalist footage as you can see he used a normal moving footage. So in your case you might need to mask out the portion and move frame by frame and mask out the portion of the structure or moving structure or wall or anything else separately. You need to keyframe the mask in and then mask it out separately and then just do the normal thing and it will be pretty much done. And then apply this shattered effect onto the second footage and it is pretty much done. Thank you so much for watching guys, hope you liked my video. So if you are into cinematography, filmmaking, videography and photography, then my channel is just for you. And if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff I do in my channel, the free stuff, the transitions, the plugins, the alerts, the tutorials and all those other stuff, then please, please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the post notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time I make a new video. So let's just join our hands and make this family, make this community as big as we can. And if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos, for the later videos, for the future videos, Videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all those other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace